Hey y'all, um, spiritually yours back with another reading. Uh, we gonna hop into it to my angels, my guides, my ascended masters, the divine, the universe, the higher power, Archangel Michael, Raphael, Jophiel, Gabriel, Uriel, Metatron, Azrael, and to my ancestors that love and care for me and want the best for me. Please and thank you for the clear, precise, accurate messages that I need to deliver to the collective at this time. Let's get it. We're all on different timelines. This could be someone's past, present, future. Flip the rules if need be. Take only what is yours and um, use your discretion. And I go by the energy and the illustration from the cards. So um, right off the bat, we have marriage and we have let go. Um, I was feeling that somebody um, has never felt like this about someone. There's going to be somebody that don't play about you, collective. Um, they're not going to be, I heard, not afraid to fall. So somebody is um, okay with not knowing what the future might hold, but they're loving the energy that they're in with you in the present moment. So they're not afraid to take a chance with you. And that's what it's about because you really don't know, you know, you could plan the future out as much as you want to, but you really don't know what the future holds for you. And I feel like somebody is letting go of fear of, um, being committed to someone this person could be non-committal because they don't want to be hurt but with you is something else here we have marriage and we have let go the marriage of of souls is the union of two divine opponents it's giving me yin and yang energy some things are best let go and let the universe work it out in its divine timing you're helping open someone's heart chakra um they might have been dealing with people where they've kept their emotions out of the scenario, but it's something about you where they can't do that. Um, it's their feelings and, and the love that they have for you. Love. Love can conquer everything. This is beautiful. Somebody's just afraid to be hurt because of their past, but I feel like they're letting go of that fear and just letting the divine handle and the universe handle and they're handle the situation and they're just like i'm just gonna go with it they're trying to ground themselves and be in the present moment with you yep except what fate has in store oh my god you are helping someone let go of fears when it comes to love but it could be vice versa, versa, but somebody here is letting go of fears that they have connected to relationships and unions. Um, somebody wants the end all be all with you. We have a lore here. Consider this situation carefully. 1111. It is an important number for twin flames symbolizing harmony and balance. Somebody feels like you balance them out. You're their peace, their happiness. You give them something to be happy about. I don't know what's going on with this person outside of you, but um, when, they, when they're with you, it's just about you and this person. They close off everything else in the world. Um, we have Link. Yep, I said when they're with you, the bond grows stronger over time and we have strength. Their love for you is going to grow over time. They might move slow with you. And that's just to make sure that what they're feeling is not like a phase. So this person might have been in like things that are really fiery and passionate. And it burns out and fizzles out quickly. So they want to make sure that um, this is a long standing and lasting relationship. Guilty, yeah. They don't want to let the past interfere with the future in the present moment with you. And th this person, I feel like they take accountability for what parts they played in past situations. So this person is not the type to try to blame others for things. Um, this is like a noble heart I'm getting. Acceleration. Speed up and chase what you want. They're going to chase you. 
this is the type of person if you try to leave them they'd be like nah baby we're gonna work this out um mm -mm, ain't no ain't no nope we locked in <laughs> this is somebody yeah but let's say that we have soul and i said long last and we have two old people here your soul is preparing to reestablish trust yeah this person feels like you're worth it them dealing with their fears and facing it head on reconciliation they're learning to reconcile with themselves they could be getting back out into nature they could be this person could have been isolating themselves but i feel like they're they're starting to enjoy life again they could be um with the nature they could be hiking they could be going on walks they could be getting their health in order we have cherished here this person um, will protect the relationship with you this is a new person y'all um you've given this person some type of feeling they've never had before um it's causing them to want to be a better person so this could be like a divine masculine and feminine relationship. I feel like the feminine is sparking something in the in the masculine. Y'all, yeah. look, true love. True love appears when you least expect it. Test, your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. Twin flame. Twin flames themselves contain an aspect of each other's personality. This is you. This is you. This is you. This is you doing this for this person. This could be your twin. Or you're just really connected to this person. It's a test on this person's strengths or weaknesses. Or this is you. They want to see if you'll be able to face your fear of commitment here or just being in a relationship that involves trust, um, that involves true love. Um, observe. They want you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities and how you feel about this person and embrace it. Embrace what fate has in store for you. Some of y'all, they want you to embrace the unknown. Just know you're on the right path and just keep forging forward with enlightenment. Yes, they're going to let you know that you're connected to the divine. So you're not going to be steered in the wrong direction. Heart, you feel your heart beat faster as you get closer. Some of y'all could be feeling like fluttery, fluttering in your heart when you're around this person. You need trust to thrive in a relationship. We have past life in a trap. This is not your past. This person don't hold them to your past people that you were with in past situations. You're not attracting anything towards you that has to do with the past. This is a brand new person. You don't even have a past life with this person. They're new to you. Um, this person is in it for the long haul. Trust what you're feeling about this person. Telepathy, yep. When you're apart, you'll be communicating. Um, it could be reassurance through telepathy. So if you start having doubts, this person might just call you. Um, if you start questioning things, they might shoot you a text. And that's how you know you're telepathically connected to them. And that's how deep this relationship is. It's like this person will know when things are off with you. Like if you're feeling imbalanced. Same with this person. Yep, I said feeling. Deep feelings. This person is going to be so in love with you. Some of y'all going to be in the comments feeling like it's not true. Then this is not for you. Because you got to believe in something like this for it to happen for you. If you don't believe in true love, how the hell are you going to get it? And if you get it, you're not going to know that it's true love. You're not going to believe it. So this, if you don't believe in them kind of things or this situation for you, then this is not your reading. That's fine. But shit, who don't want to believe in something like this? Um, we have connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. I feel like this person was sent to you and you to them to help you both forget scars from the past. This is a healing connection here. It involves you both healing some type of, some aspect of yourselves that need to go that's outdated. 
So if you're not trusting people, they're sending someone for you to trust so you can let that go. Um, yeah, we have emotion here. Look into the depths of your emotion. Intense. The intensity of a true soul connection includes highs and lows. This person is not going to give up on you. Some of y'all might have um, issues with abandonment. So you might be ready to cut and run as soon as something goes wrong or you have an argument. They're telling you the intensity of a true soul connection is going to include highs and lows. It could be days where y'all can't stand each other. But you'll get over it and you'll work through it recognition the universe will help you recognize signs and miracles indication from the universe that this is a value the commitment that you will be in so watch for the signs that lead you to true love the universe is guiding you towards a special someone just let it take its course focus on things of value and commitment is an important factor and building a successful relationship. I feel like a power couple, you against the world, you two against the world, you have admiration here. It's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner and study. Let love show you how to learn from each other. Maybe neither one of y'all have been in a true soul union, a true love connection. So both of y'all are gonna be teaching each other how to love properly um through the union yes the union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it some of y'all might have thought somebody from your past was your person and you missed the opportunity with them you haven't experienced true love that's been unconditional you've been tested on it to maybe help you ascend in a way where you have discernment and you can peach when a situation is not for you um, to prepare you for your person. Those people from your past are like preparation to what you're supposed to have. It's honor here. This union is honored. Um, I feel like spiritually it's protected. Um, it's admired um, moment. Think of a special moment that brought you and your person together. Challenge. A, all true soul connection involves challenges that can be overcome together. There's nothing that you two won't be able to get over or get through together. You'll get clarity when there's confusion. Because I feel like you're both connected to the divine. So, this person could be just as spiritual as you. Um, one more card. Illusion. Yes. Look, Maze. You'll be able to get through, even when you feel lost, you two will be able to get through situations together is the word that I, I'm really hearing stressed here. So, when there's confusion and illusions, clarity is in between and Maze. You will always, you two together, not third parties and outside people, y'all will be able to get through whatever issues you might have. Nothing is too big for y'all to get through. I need, I wanna dig in deeper and find out more about this person. Um, let's use this one. As I split the deck, we have awakening and purpose. You're gonna awaken something in this person. Um, I feel like they're used to being let down in relationships. We have higher self-activation. Exactly. You're going to push this person to their higher selves. I said they're going to want to be a better person because of you. Um, this could be an ear sign or you, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It's fate. It's a fated union. Um... Karma, balance, and justice, yes. You're coming to balance some things out in this person's life and see, and they'll know why things in their past didn't work out because they were being prepared for you. Self-worth and expectations, yes. This person might've had insecurities. I feel like it's more so fears 
of being not enough, being left out in the cold, being disappointed, um, giving something, yep, they're all and coming out with nothing, past lack and suffering. Um, if this is you, this person is coming in to help you balance something out here. We have closed off guarded and resistance. Some of y'all, this is karma for you to be with this person. You're going to trigger, your union is going to trigger a lot of people, especially past per, past people to both of you that might have thought you would never be in this type of union. My baby is just a hollering back there. Let's see. Um, form a solid foundation. Some of y'all got past like exes that's haters to you. They going to watch you pull up to a table with your person and eat and harvest they're gonna watch you to create towers and try to flip for others um storm and unexpected some of y'all might have been with people that look down on you and they're not expecting you to be in this kind of union yep it's people you have soul ties to past people they're not expecting you to break free from whatever type of soul tie you have with them chemistry and passion maybe you had some chemistry and passion with someone that created a soul tie you're getting ready to create change and have the courage to do so because you're breaking them chains you're cutting the ties with these people um yep and moving into a different contract and commitment with somebody else here somebody made for you moon along ego vanity and pride yeah, I might show off a little bit, but I'm not getting any type of like 3D-ish energy, a low vibrational energy. I just feel like y'all might show off your relationship because you're both happy, um, lack and doubts. And y'all came from lack. Some of y'all had um, a hard upbringing, both of you. And now y'all about to have everything with each other. Why not be inspiration to others? present abundant that don't mean you don't have gratitude that you're not thankful and appreciative um we have decisions here some of y'all came from bad relationships and now you're in something beautiful oh hell yeah show that shit y'all know what i've been in and what i came from and who did this to me and that to me and now i'm with somebody that unconditionally loves me why should i hide that to save y'all that hurt feelings and embarrassment yeah third eye clarity in reverse no mm -mm. people that you're separated from they don't understand or they didn't see it coming for you who the hell cares you don't live for other people whether y'all thought it or not is here <laughs> we got stability harmony and flow yeah y'all got past people that's haters here Courage action beginnings. Twin flames. Well, it makes sense. Yeah, y'all union is going to trigger people. Yep, both could be very attractive. Energetic wise and physically. Um, somebody um somebody could have blonde hair, but somebody's butt is nice. It's <laughs> whatever. Somebody it look like they had a BBL. Mm-mm. It's just that cornbread. <laughs> collard greens mac and cheese we have deception and temptation yeah your relationship is going to be so authentic it's going to shine a light on people that are fake so these fake relationships that's being exposed if you are a tiktok person if you can only see how many relationships are being exposed at this time this year has been about exposure. Oh my God, the relationship that you think is peaches and cream. You will go on there now and see these people being exposed left and right. It's like, what in the hell? So I feel like your true relationship involving true love is going to shine a light on the ones that are not. Which could be past people in relationships faking the funk. We have growth in summer. Um... Uh, some of y'all had an um, awakening this summer for a rebirth, I'm feeling, or an extension. Uh, we have, yep, we had a transformation. Uh, hold on, y'all, I think something flipped. 
Yeah, and there's people that's um you left in left behind. You have distance between that you not you left the commitment with or home or family life with. These people are still watching you. As much as they act like they don't care, that's how much they do care. Um some could want to offer you an apology for reflecting and projecting rejection, loss, and fragmented energy on you. Some of y'all, the stuff you was feeling with people wasn't your energy. And you could be getting epiphanies about it. And I did say about the fake people. Um, they're being exposed in your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams and the thoughts that you have. I feel like your ancestors and them are trying to um, expose these fake ass relationships to you. You could be a whistleblower. I don't feel like you'll talk on it because I don't feel like y'all care like that, but I feel like your relationship is going to be a whistleblower to your ex's fake ass relationships, you and your person. Um, assistance and guides, regret and repression. Clinging South Node comfort zone. Self care and energy. Fire sign Aries Leo says they want you to take care of yourself. Yup, truth and expression. Because you're about to be exposing people. I feel like it's because of who you are. It's going to shine a light on people in darkness. Your light is. Um, you're a whistleblower. Because of who you are, you expose fake people. I don't know how to really explain it. Like, you know, when it's dark, you can't see shit. So you come in with your light and then now these people see who's in darkness. That's what I feel like this is. It's something that has to do with your relationship with your person, too. Um... This is kind of beautiful and powerful at the same time. Detachment and cold. Yeah, you see how they're in one part of darkness and then there's light here. And then sun strength and empowerment. Yes. You hold light in your hand. You are the sun. You illuminate. Negativity. Deception. People holding on to their south node. People, yeah, look, people in darkness. I, I don't I don't know who you're like. I don't know. There's no other word to use but a whistleblower. Yeah, shadow side. Look how dark it is. You expose people in that energy. Um... Mm. Guilt and sabotage. Yeah, you I don't know. It's something about your energy. Your you could have earth in your chart. Um Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or well, there's a, a earth sign that's guilty about something here. We have hot and attraction. Oh, this there's a feminine that's distorted here. Maybe this is somebody you expose the earth sign energy that they really don't have nothing to offer. It's in reverse. This person is in their shadow side. You came in with light. You could be a fire sign. Something you shine the light on, show people this person is in the reverse. They're not really a divine feminine. There's a fake ass earth sign here that pretended to be a divine feminine. Yeah, pertaining to a mask and you expose that this feminine has nothing to offer this person. I don't know how you did it. Oh, through your nurturing and compassion energy. Hmm. You hold something in your hand. I feel like it's lights that expose third parties. 
or you exposed to a masculine that you're the true divine feminine to them. Wish fulfillment and healing. That could be why this person is opening up to you. You could have, um, they could have been with a distorted feminine. And you're providing some type of healing to this person that's showing them that your wish fulfillment and that you, I said the light in your hand, celebration, gifts, and abundance. Yeah, this person is guarded, but they're going to learn to be vulnerable with you. Um, you're helping them face their fears. Yeah, something they've been avoiding. This had their life in stalemate because they haven't been able to be in committed unions due to fear. I feel like they have no choice but to face it to be with you. So they'll have to let that go. You have any toxicity patterns that they're bound to. They're going to have to let it go. They're receiving communication. I feel like through dreams and messages about some illusions that they have created here. It could be a water sign energy. They're confused about what really, what real love is. They might have thought they experienced it, but they haven't. They, they're they realizing that they are experiencing it with you. Yeah, cycles, close of completion. You're making them a better purpose, purpose, <laughs> better person by helping them step into their purpose because you're in yours. Look, union, and then open to receive. Yes, your union is open. Up. Oh, this is beautiful. You're helping somebody have self-love and have intentions set. They're having a rebirth because of you. Come from all oh, collective. Yeah, the masculine is realizing that they haven't been with divine feminines before. That's why their offers, it didn't work out. They haven't been with anybody like you. You're so different from other people. Period. Not just people that they've been in a union with. They're not used to people anyone like you you're like you're one of a kind you're one in a million so you're helping somebody become a better person um we have ear sign here and water sign cancer pisces scorpio these could be two people that you've helped being in a union with them you help the ear sign move to their higher self even if you're not with this person i feel like you're with the water sign and you're helping this person be open to receive. They've been really hurt in the past. Um, but the love they have for you is helping them face fears and limitations they put on themselves. Yep. Yep. Look at this. The three of cups. Judgment. Making a decision. Because you bring this type of energy to them. You're a whole vibe to this person. They're choosing to take another path here. No matter how hard or dark that path might be, they're willing to take it. They're willing to fall. They're willing to just let it be. And you could be a fire sign. Queen of Wands energy. Two of Cups. The Devil and the Sun. They go from the Devil to the Sun. They're choosing to let go of toxicity or whatever is going on in your life. Negative patterns negative self-talk they're learning that they're able to accomplish things um they're feeling better about themselves more on this they're getting clarity they're gaining strength here with the ten of wands swords they could have been in a pessimistic energy like i'm stuck i can't do nothing i can't get out of this they're realizing the swords are not even in their back they're, they're getting the strength and the clarity to know that it's not over for them like they might have thought when it comes to love. You're their ten of cups and they're recognizing it with the six of wands and the lovers. 
and the Hierophant, they know with the Queen of Cups, you're their person. There's love. There's a different kind of love here. They see you as the Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups. They're going to love the hell out of you. I mean, dating you with the Knight of Wands is giving this person strength with the strength card. Yeah, they're getting the downloads and information of who you are to them. That brand new beginning they've been waiting on. Ooh, the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Oh my God. If, ugh. They know financially and love-wise you're their person. They know you're going to bring them... Both of you together are going to bring the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles to your union. This person knows. It could be a fire sign also. Or very, I said you might be very attractive people. The Knight of Cups here. Oh, a blessing. Leave that baby. I won't waste no time. I won't waste my time giving it all to you all to you listen to that song you help life be yeah this person could put burdens down with you like i said when y'all together this person blocks out the world um we have the seven of cups the three of pentacles the eight of cups they're leaving behind other people to be with you they have options you might even have options with the seven of cups and and three of pentacles but you can see they have their back turned to the cups they don't want to. They want to be in a commitment with you. This is beautiful. This person not going to act like they got. I ain't going to act like this person don't have no options. They do. There's people interested in them. They don't care about that. Yeah, we got the justice here. They don't care about that. It could be people that want to be with you and this person. They're willing to compete. They could be in some type of despair watching you and isolated. So just be aware of people watching you and watching your ship sail in. Um, of course, because you're the empress and you're manifesting things you're taking a leap towards. So it's not like you're manifesting and you're denying your manifestations. You jump right towards them. Um, people are watching you do this and they could want your time and energy, but you're going to be so heavily focused on yourself and your person. It's not going to even matter. Um, the same thing with your person here. Um, just know there is one past person that's an ear sign that you push them to their higher selves. So even though you might not be with this person, you help them become a better person for somebody else and you're okay with that because that wasn't your person your person is the water sign energy we have the strength card yeah i just said it you made this past person stronger you pushed them to their higher self you out here changing lives look the four of cups that you know that wasn't your person but you still created some type of balance and karma for this person. It was divine intervention with your beautiful angelic energy. You made this person be able to go on and plant seeds. It's hidden, but this person appreciates you. They might have not said it, but they know you're the catalyst to the, the life they've had. Their hat of the life they have now. You saved some damn body. And they might not thank you for it, but your ancestors and them are letting you know this person is connected to their higher self because of you. Mm. I won't waste no time. This person might want to marry you quickly, too. They might talk about it real early. You'd be like, what? They mean it. <laughs> they definitely mean it. Um, let's get some of these here and I'm gonna let y'all go. Friendship, doubt, um, 
I feel like you'll just have a friendship with this person and a relationship. Y'all just confide in each other. And yeah, this I said, don't doubt it. You're this person's peace. I'll keep spitting. <laughs> you set this person free. They decided to surrender. I wouldn't be surprised if fears come out. Because I feel like this person has fear. Let me make sure that card is upright. Because the last reading it wasn't. Yeah. Change. Yep. Remember I said this person takes accountability for their actions. In like past relationships. They do. They know it's a part of their growth to take responsibility. So they know not to do it again. Worry. Yep, they've been worried about love. You're hope you're helping them persevere through this. They might have not thought they would find happiness with somebody else. And it could be you too. Yep, some of y'all thought your happiness and love was over with the death card. Nope. You get to have an abundant relationship. I knew it. Fear. I told you. Yeah, you push this person to their purpose. Balance. Justice here you created. Yeah, being of service to others. Oh my God. Success. Mm. Discipline. Grief and guilt. There's people that's, they're grieving losing you. They're going to see you be happy and have what you have with someone here. It's going to spark some type of resentment and guilt and regret in them. Courage. Regret, I told you, it's in reverse. You don't have no regrets. You don't have regrets about being lonely, being alone, not lonely. Because you had time to work on yourself. There's no regret in that. Yeah, because you had patience and knew in divine timing, your person would come. I feel like your person gave up on love, though. Yeah, you had patience. Man, look. No matter the adversity, you knew you was going to find your person. We have honesty in reverse. You didn't. End. Excuse me, y'all. Um, you kept it real with yourself. Yep, you accepted things for what it was. And just figured, hey, my person will come eventually. We have judgment and denial here. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of, of awareness. You made your person decide to acknowledge their fear of commitment. And now they want it all with you. What's at the bottom? Indecision and trust. Yeah. You made them trust again. Let me get a couple of initials here. And then I got to make sure my child is in the damn house. Um, let's see here. I saw BW. We have A M C Q H P U N G S. Um, G R. What's this? A. Okay. So we have one vowel here. Oh, we got two. Um, four. Some of y'all, there could be distance between you and your person. Y'all could be in a long distance relationship. We have pug. Somebody could have a pug as a dog. Um, we have mug. Somebody could be drinking out of a mug at this time. We have, um, let's see. We have, oh Lord. You know how I am with this. Uh... Gap, somebody can have a gap. Um, they could be talking to me. <laughs> we have sun, 
yeah, you've illuminated things to others. Some, some of y'all could be adding up your your coins at this time. Somebody um could be chewing gum. We have gum here. Um, that could be it. Yeah, I don't really know what else to make out of this, but those initials could be to somebody's name, um, or you could create words that I didn't. So, all right, y'all. Um, oh, let me get a couple of these and I'm out of here. I won't waste no time. I'm going to beat my child butt if he ain't in his house. <laughs> no one, he probably, man, look. Evil eye, get some breasts. Evil eye energy could be um wearing y'all out, making y'all feel exhausted. It's these past people watching. Um, We have trust. They want you to trust that this person has decided to move on from any third parties. No matter if some gossip arises, it's not what it is. <clears throat> they sacrifice other people for you. They they let other um, unions go, options, opportunities. Lift your head, brighter days are coming. Short hair, somebody can have short hair. Can't let go, yeah. Remember I said you expose people, I'm faking my happiness, we have clown. It's my time, it's your time to shine. Miss opportunities, you are worthy. I keep seeing family member. Um, stop being stubborn. Know you're enough. Let's see what else we get here. Challenges ahead. Embrace change. Somebody has long hair. Don't speak on your ideas, manifestations, um, dreams and goals. Call your energy back. They're not your person. You helped somebody, but they weren't your person. Stop holding back, wait. How are they gonna tell you stop holding back and then say wait? Toast to your accomplishments. And the bottom. What do we have here? Call your energy back in honeymoon phase. Some of y'all are getting married to this person. You're gonna marry this person. Um, we have I'm okay. Someone is crushing on you and surprise coming from someone tall. Um, there's a family member that wants you to start a business. They could wanna start one with you. Um, but just know that y'all, all right. I'm going to let y'all go. This is beautiful. You're helping. Your person feels like you're worth whatever the trauma or issues, patterns they might have. They feel like you're worth letting it go, working on it, becoming a better person. You're sparking someone to go towards their purpose. You're sparking or igniting something in someone that's going to push them on their path. And you've done it with somebody else that you let go of. So just know somebody is in a better position in life because of you. Them taking the, something you did or said, or I don't know what you did, but you put somebody to their higher self activation. You might've told somebody what it is like it is. And this person, because of how they felt about you, they took notice to what you said is sunk in and they decided to work on it. They could be in a whole nother union, but just know they changed a lot of things being because of being with you. Um, you might've rejected this person if they tried to come back to you, confirmation. Just know if they're with somebody, they're being the best version of themselves to this person. So you help somebody bless somebody else if they're being a good person to someone else. Um, that's not your problem because you ain't worried about that shit. You worried about yourself. So, But just they want you to know you help somebody else too. And you're helping your person deal with 
I saw temptation. It could be temptation. This person could have been non-committal a lot in the past. Because this person has options. They don't care about them options when it comes to you. Nobody pans out. Nobody is gonna... This person doesn't have eyes for anybody else. Um, they just want to be with you. So know that. Because sometimes just because somebody have options, like people interested in them will feel the person is a cheater. No, they just have people interested in them. That doesn't mean they want to act on it. I feel like this person loves you and loves you only. Um, so you just have to learn to trust that. I, I've had an issue with that, with my person. And a lot of people interested in him. And I used to be like, you interested in him too? I know you are. He's like, if you looking at me, you know us fire signs, we get it in. Don't play with us. We will spaz out. What? Who? What? When? When? I had to learn that's those people. They have an interest in my person. That doesn't mean my person has an interest in them. I don't have to worry about the other people. I got to worry about who I'm with. Whether they entertain that. Same thing with me. I dip nose up to options all the time. But he trusts me more than I trust him. <laughs> I just be like, I know he about to put them 10 swords in my back. I can feel it. And he just let me spaz out and say what I'm saying and go through my motions. And then he just be like, okay, are you all right now? Nah, I'm all right for the minute. <laughs> but no, I'm a fire sign. I was spaz. Aries, we will spaz out on the bofo. Uh-uh, don't play with us. Us and Leo, oh my God. Scorpios too, they ain't a fire sign, but Scorpios get it in too. Uh, we spazzing out, oh my Lord, don't play with us. <laughs> so you just gotta know to trust your person to hell with them options. They gonna do what they do. It's what your person is gonna do in response to those options. I'm blocking them damn shits all day long like the Matrix. Nope, I'm not interested in nobody. That's how you got to look at your person. Because I feel like that's how they are. Options don't mean nothing. I feel like they've had a past where they have explored options. They've been non-committal. And now they're you. They're, they want to be committed to you. And they're facing fears and, and dealing with temptation and stuff like that. It's not a thing for them anymore because they love you. So just know if you have a new person coming in, they're gonna have people interested in them. Just when you, just because you with somebody, that don't mean other people don't want your person. So it's just your person has to be respectful and loyal and faithful to you and know you're just an option. I got me a person. So they want you to know that your person is going to stand up for your relationship and for you and their love that they have for you. So don't worry about it. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, comment, share, join the spiritual U.S. family. We would love to have you. I will catch up with y'all tomorrow. I got to be out later.